the idea of the book, and that book was utterly completed in 2003 as wow. I was finishing school. And it's, I mean, it's fleshed out in the last year a bit, but it really, it came because I found myself saying the same things to patients over and over and over again, and I got a little bit tired of it. Am I going to be doing this for decades, just telling people to start the day with a glass of warm water? Is this going to be a life sentence? And it's just part of the job. But I didn't put the book out because it just wasn't time. But I think now it is time since we witnessed the crisis in the hospitals in the last three years and we see how fragile the conventional Western medicine system is It really felt like, you know, I've got to dig that book out and put it out because it's time for people to understand that the way to stay away from the hospital is in their own hands. It's not luck of the draw. It's not your DNA. It's actual daily cultivation of personal health that's required to stay away from the need for medical intervention, from surgeries, from pharmaceuticals. All of those things can be avoided if there's a certain level of care that's observed on a daily basis as a permanent lifestyle. And so that was the intention of the book. And it starts with a scarf around the neck because the most important thing really is not to catch cold at a time when you're vulnerable. So if you're tired and you go outside and there's a cold wind and you catch cold, the fact that you're tired means that you might not be able to sweat that out. You might not have enough yang qi, moving warming qi in the kidneys, to create a fever or a sweat to push that out. And so the trajectory of diseases and the origin of disease which is explained to us in the classical text as as originating with wind and cold which are both literal and metaphors metaphors for the willingness to change and the willingness to bend with the seasons the willingness to adapt to change both societal and food and weather and so the necessity to avoid the entrenchment of the common cold is extreme really because from there, if you're unable to evacuate that cold, eradicate that cold, expel it, then the body must find a place to put it. And so it's going to move it using various channels, which are explained in the other books, using the physical strategies that are part of the functions of the channels, it will move that pathogen, pathogen being the wind or in modern parlance that would be a viral infection, it has to move that to a place in the body where it cannot affect the organs. And so that's the beginning of chronic degenerative diseases. So that's why the scarf is number one. <laughs> 